what's up everybody and welcome back to the channel we are going to be going over the new hero first up is lysander but before we do we're going to do an outdoor clip if you want to support me and my channel and you want to save yourself some money start using karzak 5 save five percent on your purchases on top of the other cashbacks that is already in aptoid itself it starts off at 10 percent it can build up to 20 percent so with karzak 5 and that it'll be 25 percent then you also get extra like cashback days three times a month um five percent five percent and then a ten percent which also stack with all your other savings so you can save up to 35 percent in cashback it can really save you quite a bit of money so watch this clip and then i'll be back Welcome back and uh, thank you for all of those who do use Karzak 5. It does help me so much and I appreciate all of you. Thank you. Uh, okay, Lysander. Quality is legend. Faction is wizard's eye type attack and he is force mark. Um, again, before I do go into this, I haven't looked at any of these. I haven't um, spoken to anyone about any of these heroes yet. Those who have DM'd me will be able to confirm that. That uh, they ask and I say, well, I haven't looked at them. I want to see them for myself and then then make judgment right i just think that's the way it should be um i mean i could go and get other people's input but i like it to be mine i like to get an initial reaction anyway anyway enough of that uh tearing arrow deals uh is it on just make sure it is on the screen okay good uh it deals attack damage to a single enemy and deals attack uh extra attack damage this extra damage is considered as a bleed damage Okay, um, I wonder, I wonder if this is going to be like a legend Mackin. So we had Mackin the Epic, who is very, very good with bleed damage. You know, that extra damage considered as bleed damage is very good. We would need to see the multipliers, and if they're good multipliers, then, well, we just know it's going to be, we know it's going to be pretty good. But uh, without the multipliers, that is hard. Um, however, I do like this basic. I like it when they deal damage based on their bleed or health burn or poison or whatever. I think, you know, it really does make a hero much better. Uh, Hunter Instinct. This will be his first active skill. Lysander gains layer of ambush at the beginning of each wave. At the end of all allies excluding self turns, he gains one layer of ambush and casts Tearing Arrow to pursue and attack a, rain a random enemy. Woo! Woo! Ambush each layer increases basic attack damage. Lysander loses certain layers at the end of his turn. Um, th this, this, this is nasty. That's that's actually he's going to be proccing. Um, he's going to be proccing this like through ambush, and it's at the beginning of each each wave. Why? At the beginning of each wave, at the end of all allies, excluding self turn. So at the end of every ally's turn, he's launching a basic attack. No way. How many layers does he gain? Okay, we haven't looked at the exclusives yet. So you can probably guarantee that it's going to be like he gains four layers of ambush at the beginning of each wave. Ah, exclusive three. Just so you're like, I need him at uh, E3. Um, so I can be doing crazy amounts Oh, of uh, bleed damage, but uh, th this these two here already are looking crazy. Um, under control, when a battle starts, reduces self speed. If self speed is higher than a certain value, afterwards a part of Lysander's initial speed will be converted to mastery. What? 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 This? Th th this? I, I really look forward to seeing the multiplier on this. Because if we was to say stack him in just speed, mastery, and attack, um, we may not even need to be landing bleeds because of how much bleed damage we're going to be doing. Uh, but if, oh my goodness, this could be interesting. It's going to be, isn't it? They wouldn't have made him otherwise. Invisible hunting deals attack damage to a single enemy and deals extra attack damage afterwards. Grants self stealth for one turn. This extra damage is considered as bleed damage again. 
Um, I, I'm feeling like I wouldn't even build them on effect here. I, I would, it, reading it so far, it would be speed, attack, and mastery. Because if he's boosting his mastery, that's crazy. But we need to see the conversion rate of this. Okay, exclusives. Carved bow. Each time Lysander casts Tearing Arrow or casts it to pursue an attack or counterattack, there's a chance to strengthen Tearing Arrow. This time, by increasing its damage doubt, if Tearing Arrow failed to be strengthened, Lysander will gain one layer of spell charge. If it is strengthened successfully, all layers of spell charged will be removed. Each layer of spell charge will increase the chance of strengthening Tearing Arrow. The chance of landing this effect is not affected by effect it or effect resistance. OMG. OMG. That. I see, I, I knew it. I, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. It affects it and it affects it. Affects it. It's not going to be needed. Uh, layer to level two. The uh, layers of ambush granted by Hunter's Instinct will be doubled if Lysander has less than ten layers of ambush. Each layer of ambush additionally increases Lysander's bleed damage. Uh, level three. If Lysander has six, ten, or fourteen layers of ambush, increases damage of invisible hunting by one hundred, two hundred, or four hundred percent. When he is casting invisible hunting. Holy cow. This guy sounds nuts. He looks awful, but he sounds nuts. Looks awful. Sounds insanely good. Sounds insanely good. I really like the look of this guy. I think that's crazy. Okay. Number two, and I thought he was called Chardonnay in the patch notes preview, but he's actually called Chardonnay. So the person who was saying that they like drinking in this game, because we have Merlot and Chardonnay, we don't have Chardonnay now, we have Chardonnay. So, sorry. Um, <laughs> quality is legend, faction is the forgotten, type is defense, mark is green. First skill, cold sword aura. Deals defense damage and bleed damage based on defense to a single enemy with a chance to inflict one layer of bleed for two turns. Another bleed hero. Frozen shield grants all while as a shield by 40% of Chardonnay's max health for two turns. Interesting. Frigid veins. The bleed damage inflicted by Chardonnay is calculated based on his defense. Increases Chardonnay's defense by a certain percentage of his initial health cap. Ooh. They've done it with this guy as well. I actually feel like that's a good move. Because I feel like he would need that boost. Because we know what defense is like. So, defense mastery, affect it in health, would be probably the way. Using him, you could, you could actually shoot this freaking guy in a sustained team. We haven't got a defense damage bleed here at the moment. Uh, chilling combo deals five stages of defense damage and bleed damage based on defense each to a single enemy. Each stage has a chance to inflict one layer of bleed for two turns. And also, don't forget, he is in the Forgotten. And who else is in the Forgotten? That's right, Hisaro. I'm pretty sure he is. This is good. He's going to be huge for the Forgotten faction. Hisaro is going to love him. Hisaro is going to love him. Uh, Frigid Shelter, let's have a look at the exclusives. Each stage of Chilling Combo has a chance to inflict Heavy Bleed 2 on the target for two turns. If Heavy Bleed 2 is successfully inflicted in the duration of Chilling Combo, each remaining stage will have a chance to extend the duration of Heavy Bleed 2 by one turn instead. The chance of extending Heavy Bleed 2 is not affected by Effect It or Effect Resistance. Okay. Level 2, Frozen Shield also increases all ally speed by 40% for two turns. That's huge. At level 3, the last stage of Chilling Combo also reduces the target's attack by 40%. That's huge. And inflicts Forgotten Wound on the target for two turns. Um, not too... What is Forgotten Wound? When an enemy of Forgotten Wound is under, basic attack or takes skill damage from an ally, restores the ally's health based on Chardonnay's max health. Forgotten Wound won't be removed if Chardonnay dies. Forgotten Wound will only be inflicted on one enemy. Okay. Okay. Um... He actually looks very interesting, and he will be huge in the Forgotten Faction, um, especially paired up with Hisaro. You know, he's he's stacking bleeds, and Hisaro can proc them. He's also giving you shield. He's also giving you speed up too. He's also giving the boss attack down 40%. And we're also getting some kind of leech uh, effect here. Again, 
he could quite possibly be used in some kind of sustained team. That would be interesting to see as well. I like this hero, but I like Lysander more. I like Lysander more. But, but, with all the other attack heroes, and then this guy could be a missing link of some kind. Because he is giving shield, he is giving speed up too. He is going to be doing damage as well. Based on the defense. And he's giving heavy bleed too. I don't think anyone gives heavy bleed at the moment, do they? No one gives heavy bleed, right? Wrong. Am I wrong? If I'm wrong, tell me. Tell me right now. Uh, well, not right now, but just comment in. Because um, that's going to be huge for certain heroes as well. Okay, let's have a look at the epic. Yar. Yar. Uh, quality is epic, of course. Faction, the forgotten. Okay. Type, support, mark is red. Windblade combo. Do two stages of attack damage each to a single enemy. The second stage of this chance has a, has a chance to inflict freeze for one turn. That could be nice. Wind protection grants all allies a shield based on Yar's max health for two turns. So that's nice. Savage temper. Increases self-turn meter when Yar is under a proactively cast basic attack or skill attack. Um, wait. When he's under a pro so if he's with Ben Austin, then that's going to increase his turn meter. Am I reading it wrong? Uh, Purified Crystal restores all allies' health based on Yar's max health and cleanses three layers of damage over time. Debuffs from him. That's also very nice. What faction is he? The Forgotten. Going to be useful. Level 1, Purified Crystal also increases all allies' effect resistance by 50% for two turns. This is very nice. Level 2, for every one layer of control effects inflicted by an ally, restores all allies' health based on Yar's max health. This effect can be triggered up to three times after Yars acts each. He's going to be freaking massive for um, Faction Abyss as well. And I'll tell you why. It's because the Forgotten is stacked with crowd control heroes. It is. It is. Increases the shield value provided by wind protection. I can see Yar being very useful for Forgotten Faction Abyss. Also, Chardonnay is going to be very good for Forgotten Faction. Um, and I would say other content as well, thanks to the, uh, the increase in speed. The uh, reduce of attack and also the shield. Also, those bleeds are going to be nice too. Uh, but Lysander, I really like the look of because I feel like he's going to be doing insane damage. You've got to remember, we could pair him up with, say, Ben Austin, Rista, and they're going to be doing proactive attacks with his bleed damage on his basic. And then you're also going to have it at the end of everyone's turn. Not his, at the end of your ally's turn, he's going to launch another tearing arrow. And uh, that, could that could stack up to some crazy damage. Um, it'd be interesting to see if he's going to be a boss killer. How's he going to fare in guild boss? How's he going to fare against dungeon bosses? We don't know. He's also going to be in stealth. So this guy looks nuts in my opinion. This would be my target. Um, if I was really wanting to progress the Forgotten Faction, Chardonnay would be my other target. And Yar as well. Well, he's an epic. You're, you're more than likely going to get him. And I hope you do because he does look like a very good epic. So um, don't forget about using Aptword in Karzak 5. Thank you all of you who do use that. And I'll see all of you in the next video. Take care. Have a fantastic day, even wherever you are. Goodbye.